Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a lip swatch and a review of the newly launched Nykaa's All Day Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Now they have come out with 10 shades and I have picked out 6 of them. So as always, check the description box below to see the shade names and for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now if you have not already, then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right into the video. Okay, so let's go over with the features of these liquid lipstick. Now it says that it is mask proof and smudge proof, 12 hour transfer proof, high pigmented formula, one swipe coverage, flex tip applicator for precise application and it has hydrating ingredients such as vitamin E and almond oil. Now these are priced at 350 rupees for 2.1 ml of product and like I mentioned before they do offer a total of 10 shades. This is how the packaging looks like which comes in this clear tube with the black cap and black writing and at the bottom you have the shade name and number and this is how the applicator looks like. And now let's finally move on to the lip swatches. Alright, so let's go over with the formula and the pros of these liquid lipsticks. Now these are a pure matte liquid lipstick. Now these are quite thin in consistency and this with one swipe you get the full pigmentation. Now it does take about a minute for it to set down and once it does dry down it is completely transfer proof and budge proof like for example. there is zero transfer so this is mask friendly now these do last for a long time for me it took about like six to seven hours and then i had to eat and after having a heavy meal this is how it looks like and uh, for this kind of a formula you will have to like reapply you cannot just like press your lips so yeah you will have to reapply the lipstick 
Now for the removal of these lipsticks, you will have to use like an oil based product using a micellar water or even a wet wipe. It will kind of rub and tug your lips. So yeah, I use the Garnier oil infused micellar water and it works like a charm. Oh, also I do like the paddle type applicator. It's kind of easy for the liquid lipstick to apply throughout your lips. And lastly, I love how these smell. They smell amazing. And now coming to the FII. Now the first point is personally not a con for me, but it could be for someone else. And that is the fact that these are quite dry on the lips now if you're the kind of person who does not like matte liquid lipstick you may not like this and I would recommend using the matte to last liquid lipstick rather than these because those are a bit more comfortable it's not as long-lasting or transfer proof but comfort wise that is much more better than these or the other way is to use a lip balm underneath and then you can use these liquid lipsticks now for the second point like I mentioned before it does take about a minute like literally 60 seconds for it to dry down because it's liquidy in consistency but while it is drying if you press your lips together it will be tacky or a little bit sticky but even after you press your lips if you wait you are fine now for the third point is that if you are in a habit like me where i do lick my lips then you will feel a very thin light layer of lipstick on your lips so yeah that's another fii and the last point is that if you have wrinkles or fine line on your lips it will emphasize it so yeah and last but not least for the cons there are two points the first one is kind of like a personal opinion i do not know if it's like a con for someone else but it was or it is a con for me is the fact that some of the shades that were shown online looks a bit different than how it looks in person now out of these six shades that i have two shades which is a uh, super mom as well as darling daughter it looks a bit muted online and that's what i was expecting but when i tried it it looks a bit bright you know it is a nude but it's like a bright nude shade you know i hope i'm making sense but uh, yeah that is the first con for me the second con is the amount of product you get for the price now these have only 2.1 ml of product for 350 rupees wherein if you see other liquid lipsticks out in the market in a very popular brands like maybelline uh, or the Lakme one, like for example, the Maybelline Sensational Matte Liquid Lipstick, it's this exact same pricing, but you get 7 ml of product, and this one is just 2.1 ml of product. Wherein at the Lakme Forever Matte, that has 5 ml of product, and it's much more cheaper than these liquid lipsticks. So, yeah, the second con for me is the quantity for the price. I just feel that because of packaging, it doesn't seem that the product is so less but it is quite less so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the nikas all day matte liquid lipstick and this wraps today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to which one if i whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try to set for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Shana on instagram and it's Shana on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye